this is Ricardo and I'm back with another review for the channel and we have the Raider from the micro brand Mitchell timepieces now a little bit about Mitchell timepieces they're a micro brand that's run by a United States Air Force veteran and what he does is he basically just puts watches together um, he likes watches and what he does is he orders the different parts to put these watches together and As part of his collection. He created this pilot style watch now There's a specific story behind this watch and why it's called the Raider Right after the attacks on Pearl Harbor uh, the United States was looking for a win and they wanted to make a impact in terms of their response to what happened to Pearl Harbor. So what they did is they got General James Doolittle, who was able to coordinate the first attack on Japan. Now, if some of you guys are familiar with the 2001 film Pearl Harbor, towards the latter part of that movie, you'll see them kind of go over the story of these raids. And one of the most, dis most difficult aspects of these raids was the fact that they had to take B-25 bombers and somehow fly them off of the short tarmacs on battleships. So that was one of the big challenges that they had to overcome in order to do these attacks on Japan. And these were considered the first attacks and the first response to the attack on Japan. So there are aspects of this watch that correlate to those attacks and I'll delve into those a little bit more. But for now, that's a little bit of a story on the brand and a little bit of a story on this specific model. So let's go ahead and jump into the specs of this watch. Now, in terms of specs, the Raider comes in at 42 millimeters. It has a 48 millimeter lug to lug. You get 100 meters of water resistance, which are aided by this signed screw down crown. The watch comes on this 22 millimeter strap. It's a canvas strap that is actually leather backed. So it's 22 millimeters here at the lugs. The straps have quick release spring bars. So as I said, 22 millimeters here at the lugs, which taper down to 20 millimeters here at the buckle. Actually going back to the rear of the watch, on the back of the watch, you have this engraving of the B-25 bomber that I mentioned earlier as well as this compass engraved around the plane. Going back to the front of the watch, we have these beautiful pilot styled numerals. We also have cathedral hands. At the 12 o'clock, right be below 12, we have a star, which is actually signifying the rank of Brigadier General Doolittle. And at six o'clock, we have Raider. Going back to 12, right below the star, we have Mitchell for the name of the brand. The watch comes with this coin edge bezel and I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the crown. And the beauty of this watch is it's a time only, so you actually get no ghost positions. They decided to put a 90-39 movement in there. So on the first click, I immediately get the stop. I can then move the time around.
There we go, crowns in. Stated earlier, the crown is signed. The overall case is a mixture of brush surfaces, which you have here and on top of the lugs. That bezel I mentioned earlier is polished as well as the knurling around the crown. And back here, you have some polishing that was incorporated into the case back. And if you look closely, you'll see the cutouts so that the case back can be screwed off. And that covers the specs on this watch. So now let's jump into pricing and my thoughts on the Mitchell Raider. So I've had the Mitchell timepieces Raider for a few weeks and I have to preface my thoughts with this. I've never really been a fan of pilot watches, but I have to say this is changing my mind. Um, there are a lot of things on this watch that I really like. First thing, I love the numerals on this watch. They have that old school pilot watch feel. Yes, they're reminiscent of the Zenith pilot watches, but that specific font has been a font that's been used on pilot watches for quite some time. And I think on this, they they really work. Another thing I really like about this is the short lugs. It really helps with the wearability of the watch. So yes, you get that larger 42 millimeter feel of a pilot watch, but then the short lugs just makes this wear really nice on the wrist. And speaking of that, let me toss this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you guys get a good view of what this watch looks like on the wrist. And there you go. Look how that fits on the wrist really well. Um, the lugs, because they are shorter, they don't stretch over the edges of my wrist. The thickness of this, which comes in at about 12.7 millimeters, when you take into account that beautiful domed sapphire crystal, it's nice. I mean, this thing wears really well on the strap that it comes with, but toss this on a nice green NATO and it's, it's a stunner. Another thing I like about the watch, I just mentioned it, that dome sapphire crystal. I mean, it's really hard to describe just how nice this crystal is on this watch. Um, best way I could kind of describe it is when looking at the watch from the side, it almost seems as if the dial has water right on top of it and there's this nice little clarity and this beauty on the watch when viewing it from the sides. It's something that I'm trying to describe but you really can't see just how nice it is unless you're seeing this watch in person. And finally, I have to say, uh, the last thing that I really like on this watch is the fact that it comes with 100 meters of water resistance and it's a screw down crown. Uh, when it comes to pilot witch watches, especially from micro brands, sometimes things get a little iffy. Uh, I mean, when you think water resistance, you don't necessarily think pilot watch, but by giving us 100 meters of water resistance on this, it turns this watch into a nice everyday wear kind of watch. But overall, those are my thoughts. And as you can see, I'm definitely leaning towards really liking this watch. And the final thing that's kind of the icing on the cake on this watch is the price point. Coming in at $399, it's really hard not to like this watch. It has everything you would need in a go anywhere, do anything watch. You know, I'm a big fan of watches like that. It has this beautiful loom on it. 
Um, I'll toss a couple shots of that loom so you guys can see. Really nice, bright BGW9 loom. I mean, the watch, piecing it together and the final product that you get from Mitchell Timepieces, it's really hard to argue the value of this watch. Final thing I wanted to add is the watch, when it comes to you from Mitchell Timepieces, comes on this beautiful, I'm just gonna put the watch here to the side. It comes on this beautiful felt American made watch roll. Here's how the roll looks on the inside. And it has this nice feel to it, nice thickness. But that's what you get when you order this watch. But overall, as I've been telling you guys, I really like this thing. I, I think it's a great micro brand pilot watch. It's a great watch if you're kind of on the fence about pilot watches and you just want to try them out. Uh, definitely try out Mitchell timepieces. I think the value that you get on this watch is just astronomical. But that's it for this week. I'll see you guys next week with the next review. And if you have any questions, definitely drop them in the comment section below. And also follow me on a Watch With Us channel on Instagram. Bye guys.